Well, um, having your, your name not die out is, uh, you know, it's, it's an important thing. You, you want to you wanna keep your name around and be remembered. You know, w we don't have very much in this life. You know, physical possessions come and go. But your name, meaning like what your name stands for, who you are, when someone references your name, what they think about you, what's said about you, that carries a lot of weight. That's really important because it kind of defines who you are. The amount of influence you have, the, you know, hopefully it's good. It's positive, right? You want to have a good name. When people talk about you, you want them to be able to say, oh yeah, you know, brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, they were really godly. They lived a righteous life. They helped people. They gave the gospel. They did, you know, all of these good things. The Bible says in Proverbs 22, one, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. It's way better to strive in this life to live a righteous, upright life, to have that good name. It's way better to have that than to have, you know, a bunch of riches, a bunch of gold. You know, maybe you could earn and, and get some great amount of riches, and, and you, but you have to lie and, cheat and steal, uh, steal <laughs> and cheat in order to do so, right? You have, to, you have to do it the wrong way, but hey, you could amass all this wealth and get all this gain. And the Bible's saying, you know, well, then you're going to be known by that and those riches they're just going to come and go it's not going to provide you the happiness it's not going to provide you joy and it's really not going to provide you any honor or dignity or anything worth having in this life just by having some stupid riches there's a lot of people that get rich by swindling others a lot of people that practice you know very shady tactics in order to gain to gain wealth but you know what always happens to those people the things always come out in the end the truth is always revealed their end is not as good as their beginning. They always end up, you know, being taken down. It's not worth risking your reputation and risking your name over just a little bit of money temporarily. Or even if it wasn't temporary, it's still not worth it because the money is going to do you no good. Just as a side note, if you, if you have problems in your life, Everyone has problems in their life. Don't think that your problems are all tied up in money. Let me repeat that. Don't ever think that your problems are tied up in your money or lack thereof. Because there's, they're not. It's a, it's, it's a false projection or a false object of your source of problems. If you think that all of the problems that you experience in life have to do with money, because I'll tell you what, if you think that that's your problem, if you think that, oh man, I'm having all these issues, we're having a bad marriage, we're having this, we're having that, we're having all these problems because of our financial situation, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you will still have problems. The money will not make that go away you will continue to continually deal with, with other things that come up and still think, oh man, I don't know, if we just had a little bit more money, if we just had a bigger house, if we just had this, if we just had that, then things would go well. Then we'd be in better shape. If that's your mindset, it's never going to be better. Never. Because that's not what it's all about.